What's going on, everybody? It's Brian from NaviUpgrade.com, and today I've got my most requested video of 2022. But wait, it's 2023. I'm really sorry about that. You know, I've been caught up with my business and uh, just general life stuff. You know how it goes. But anyways, my most requested video of 2022 was how you can update to Sync 3.4 when you're using a Mac. So uh, fret not. I have a Mac set up under my desk here so that I can show you exactly what you need to do to update to Sync 3.4 the manual way using a USB flash drive. And so what you'll need for this project is you're going to need a high capacity, high quality, I recommend USB 3.0 flash drive. Uh, right here I have a SanDisk. I highly recommend a good SanDisk unit. Uh, that's 32 gigabytes or above. You could get away with an eight gigabyte one if you're non-nav, but if you have navigation, you're definitely gonna want to have 32 gigabytes. All right, so welcome to my very non-special Mac desktop here. So as you can see, I have uh, our USB thumb drive plugged in and it's labeled SanDisk because we have a SanDisk thumb drive in there. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to go to our spotlight search and we're going to look up disk utility. So disk utility. And then the first thing that pops up is your local hard disk. You do not want to touch that because if you touch that and do the wrong thing, then you could end up uh, with a severely hurt Mac computer. So make sure you go to external over here and click your thumb drive. Uh, mine's called SanDisk here. And the next step that we're going to do is we're going to erase it. And when we erase it, we're going to rename it to sync three perfect and the most important part here is that name does not matter but the most important thing is the format the format matters a lot so we're going to choose the xfat format and we are going to erase the drive and this should only take a few seconds all right so we're going to do uh, erase process is complete click done to continue and we can close our disk utility now let's open up our browser our browser or my browser of choice at least on mac is going to be firefox on uh, Windows, it's Edge for some reason. I don't know why, it just is. Uh, and uh, we're going to navigate to cyanlabs.net. That's cyan spelled like the color, C-Y-A-N. And uh, what we can see here is we have the Ford Hub. This is the same uh, guy who makes the actual application uh, that on Windows to do the upgrade. And we're going to go to Ford Hub Sync 3 on the dropdown. And now what you could see here is we have the manual method. So we're going to view the tutorial on the manual method here. And uh, we're going to go over a couple things to highlight before we continue. So first things first, if your car is a 2020 or newer, do not perform this update or else you will brick. And I mean brick, like it's not coming back from the dead, your APIM module, which is uh, one of these guys right here. And uh, I do not want that to happen to you, so please do not do it. I've also had a few folks with 2019 cars uh, come to me and say, hey, I did this process and um, it bricked my module. And I was like, whoa, what's, what's going on? And what happened was is a previous owner actually took the car in or truck in and uh, without the new no owner knowing, had a new APIM module put in because it failed and they put in a 2020 module and uh, the owner didn't know. And when they went to do the update, it broke their module. So uh, if you uh, are worried about that, then uh, I'm gonna have a video up here somewhere in the next couple days, probably a couple weeks, on um, how you can check and see if your unit is a My20 unit, which is what determines whether it would brick it or not. So uh, keep an eye out for that. The next thing is that, um, if your vehicle has this system right here, this is called Sync 2, also known as My4Touch, it, just inserting a USB thumb drive isn't gonna change you from this version to this version right here. Uh, this is a full hardware swap. If you want to do that hardware swap, you can go over to NaviUpgrade.com where you can buy a fantastic kit from me where I will be helping you out personally. And if you have any issues or questions, you can always reach out to me for customer service and support. Um, Monday through Friday, usually, except for holidays. Um, the other thing is, about that is that we do offer a one-year um, warranty on these parts, which can usually be extended by your credit card. Uh, next thing is this is the version of Sync 3 that we are going to be updating from. So this is anything Sync 3.3 and below. Looks like this. And we're going to be updating 
to sync uh, 3.4 which has this more sleek look down here. Uh, if you wanna see more details on this, go check out my other video uh, where I actually show the automated process with the Windows app, and you can see more details about the before and afters for all this stuff. This is kind of just like a quick video for Mac users to get started and get on the road. All right, so without further ado, uh, one more thing is that uh, this is uh, inherently a risky process, so only do this, you're doing this at your own risk. Um, uh, it's pretty safe, but you know, things happen. So uh, if you want to follow this procedure, you're doing so at your own risk. All right. So let's get our, so our, th our thumb drive is uh, plugged in. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to download the reformat tool. So we're going to download the reformat tool and we are going to download the auto install the LST for that reformat tool. And we're going to uh, uh, scroll down and we're going to select our region. So these are the regions for sync three. So you have uh, European union e EU, uh, which yes, still includes the UK, even though, you know, you guys got kicked out <laughs> or you guys kicked your, yourselves out. Uh, then you have North America, uh, China, rest of world and Australia, New Zealand, and a few other countries. All right. So uh, since I'm in North America, I'm going to select that and I'm going to select the latest version. And uh, here's when, where you select what type of um, module your car has. So if you have a non-nav APIM, that means that when you look at your display in your car, you cannot go and push a button to say navigation where you have physical maps on uh, the module or screen itself. Uh, if you have maps on the screen, you can update them and select the latest maps here, which is the uh, 2020 maps. And uh, or if you just want to update without changing your maps, you can click no maps here. Um, keep in mind that if you are using the reformat tool and you click no maps, uh, that's going to kick all the maps off of your unit. So I would just avoid the no maps thing here. So if you have a non nav APIM, select non nav. If you have a maps navigation APIM, make sure you click uh, here. We're just going to demonstrate the um, the the navigation version because it has the most amount of files. And so what we have to do now is we generate files and the configuration and uh, it, gives, it spits out all this information. Perfect. And now what we want to do is we want to go through and we need to download each one of these individually. So uh, you can just click on it and it will start downloading. You might get a little error that says, hey, um, downloading this is potentially unsafe. Just press keep and make sure that you uh, save it to a location that is convenient for you to access later. Uh, you can also, you know, right click and save link as, but that's a lot to do for these 16 files. So the last thing that you need to do is you need to uh, download the reformat.lst file. So we're going to download that right there. And I already have all these other ones downloaded because it takes a while. This is about uh, 15 gigabytes of files. So I didn't want to show that all on uh, on a short little video here. So we're going to go uh, and say, hey, we're done with that. We've done everything that we need to do. Okay, so we'll minimize this. And I'm going to bring up my finder. And I have my downloads here. And then I'm also going to bring up uh, my Sync 3 USB, uh, USB drive. And the first thing that we do in our drive is we're going to go new folder. And we're going to call this folder Sync my ride and that's with a capital s a capital m and a capital r perfect we hit enter to uh, lock those changes in and the next thing that i want to do is i want to take my auto install lst file and my reformat lst file sorry i'm not sure why and we're just going to drag these into the root here and now that those are dragged into the root here we can go into sync my ride and we're going to copy all of the tar.gz files that we downloaded. And we're going to move them into our USB thumb drive. So now while this copies, uh, we could just wait. Uh, the amount of time that this takes usually depends on how fast your thumb drive is and uh, you know how new your Mac is in terms of you know if it has USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 or Thunderbolt or whatever all the new standards are these days. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna wait. Another thing to mention is that 
there are a lot of files here, so now is a perfect time to go watch uh, another... Oh, open a new tab and watch another Navi upgrade video on um, Sync 3 upgrades, or uh, actually check out the um, Sync 3 update uh, video I did. It's super long, and it goes through all the details of um, the different versions that you can upgrade from and to, and it shows the visual variants and all that stuff. So it kind of gives you a preview of what you're about to get. All right, it's finished copying, perfect. All right, so now we can just close our windows here and then we are going to do the classic Mac uh, drag to the trash to eject. All right. So now I'm going to pop my USB thumb drive out of my Mac here and I have it right here. It's all nice and toasty from all that data transfer going on. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you have any questions about this upgrade, feel free to drop them below. Uh, the next step that you want to do is you want to go out to your uh, car or truck or SUV and stick this in the um, in, into the USB port of your vehicle. Uh, keep in mind that if your vehicle was made in 2016, chances are that an update isn't all that it needs. If you can't get Apple CarPlay to work, if you can't get Apple CarPlay to work, you're going to need an updated USB hub, which is available on my site, uh, NaviUpgrade.com. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to reach out over there. Uh, the other thing is I just want to give you a reminder that if you have a 2020 or newer vehicle, do not use this method on your vehicle that just really don't want you to break a module uh, the other thing is that if you want to see more details regarding the actual installation process of this i'm not going to show that in this video just because i've covered it in so many videos in the past if you want to see that you can go up here uh, to the video that's linked right up here and check out that video where you can navigate through it and um, see the install process once you actually stick this into your vehicle. So yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them below in the comments. Really appreciate you for watching this video. If you have time, please give it a like, a thumbs up, whatever they're called these days. I'm not quite sure. And if you disliked it, then don't do that. If you like the content that I make, then please feel free to subscribe to the channel where there's going to be a lot more cool content coming in the upcoming weeks. Uh, really, really uh, starting to take content seriously on this channel. So I hope to see you around on the next video. But until the next time, take care.